Hello everyone, I'm Squall, this is StarCraft 2. Here we've got, as the Red Zerg, Millennium Stefano going on up against SKMC, the Blue Protoss. Yes, I changed up my intro. <laughs> so, yeah, this has been a pretty awesome series between the two of these uh, players. and uh, This has been an awesome series, there we go. The day of awkward sentences, apparently. Although I guess that's really the first like super awkward sentence I've said, where it just didn't quite roll off the tongue right. So uh, I feel like that was not the worst thing in the world. Anyways, MC Forge Fast expanding once again, pretty darn typical. And uh, one thing that just occurred to me, I've always wondered about this: Do Zerg take a little bit longer to start mining when their drones spawn out of here? Because they have to run further from, you know, when they're spawning here to up here. Like, if he was down here, the larvae would be here. And then they'd immediately be at the mineral patch. I've always wondered about that. Um, yeah, if anyone actually knows the answer to that, I'd be really interested in knowing. Because while it wouldn't be a large difference, it would make a difference. Um, maybe... Um, Blizzard made it so the drones move just a tiny bit faster when they come out when they have to travel further. So that way it, it equalizes out or something. I'm really not sure, and I would love to know. Anyways, so MC uh, Stefano, excuse me, is making a spawning pool. We'll likely see him make that hatchery down here after, shortly thereafter. We'll see if MC is able to uh, juke a little bit more effectively this time and block the hatchery for longer. And uh, MC himself getting his forge down. And uh, oh, looks like we're going to see some kananigans here. Kananigans, it is a word. Look it up on Urban Dictionary. I'm sure it's there. Or if it's not, well, whatever. I don't care. Oh, wow. Stefan pulling so many drones. He doesn't want to get cannon rushed. And yeah, MC was sending out another probe, but he sends it home and does cancel that pylon. And while MC did lose the probe, and had to cancel a pylon. That was only a total loss of him of 75 minerals, uh, plus the time this probe is not spending mining. Whereas Stefano pulled, I think that was six drones off the line and was not mining with them for a good 20, 25 seconds. So while that might seem like, oh man, MC tried something, it didn't work out. Like that was, act I would say that was actually a net benefit for MC, just in terms of the lost mining time for Stefano. And while it doesn't feel big, it really adds up over the course of a game. Because it just takes, you know, a little bit longer to get drones out. And the longer it takes to get drones out, the longer it takes to get more drones out. And then you see how it kind of exponent it snowballs. I was going to say exponentially expands, but that doesn't sound fun. Snowball just makes so much more sense. It snowballs. Anyways, Stefano scouting around with his uh, Zerglings very intelligently and taking his third now right at that 430 and five seconds mark. There we go. Uh, the probe does see it, but it's not going to be able to make a cannon. It's got Zerglings that want to be its friend. So, yeah. MC, once again, looks like he wanted to try for some early aggression. Go up in a pylon somewhere, but uh, not quite working out. Cybercore is on the way. He has two gases going already. Um, not sure what that indicates. <laughs> and Stefano pulls off just in time to keep that Zergling alive. That's so fantastic to see. Because while so many players go, Zerglings are expendable. Because they're so cheap. You know, every Zergling you keep alive early on in the game is another Zergling you have to be cannon fodder later in the game. And the more cannon fodder you have, the more likely you are to win. So... Yeah, just the little things you can do to try to get ahead. Keep units alive, even if there's Zerglings and they're only worth 25 minerals and half of a supply. Anyway, so this probe will uh, just, I guess, double check that the expansion is going up. The queen is very slowly trundling on over there. And uh, I'm not sh quite sure what MC is checking for. Could be he just wants to see if there's a Roach Warren on the way or not. And as we know, there is not. There's still just a spawning pool. And Stefano just now taking his two gases. And will indeed start populating these bases with units. Live inject goes on down. And uh, yeah, he's just going to be drawing really hard. Ten drones coming out now. And MC, where is he even spending his chrono boost? Yeah, it's a little bit built up. That seems a little odd. Some built up there too. 
I really want to see where he dedicates that Chrono Boost, because that's always so telling. Um, still letting it build up. Oh, Stargate. Okay, that's a lie. He's building it up so he can Chrono Boost out some Void Base, potentially. Um, but if he rallies there, didn't he? Oh, man, he's rallying right there, and Stefano has an Overlord there. So he will instantaneously know there are Void Ways the moment it comes out. And while he will probably lose that Overlord, knowledge is much more important than the life of a single Overlord. And I'm sure the Overlord's union is, is really upset about that fact. Dude, we constantly get on suicide missions for the good of the swarm. And then all his buddies go, yeah, but dude, it's for the good of the swarm. And then he's like, oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Um, so yeah, here we go. Just want to watch Stefano's cam. And there we go. Yep, he knows there is now a Void Bay on the way. Evolution Chamber is already building, so that is good. But, um... MC can't be too happy about that Overlord positioning. He's going to send the Void Ray out now. Um, before, he probably wanted to build up units a little bit more before showing up. But for now, he's just going to go, you know what? I want to try to deal some damage with this before tons of Queens and uh, Spore Crawlers come out. So he's just going to head out straight away. Um, Infestors definitely won't be arriving for some time now. So this, uh, this Void Ray can operate with some level of impunity. Um, in that it can just kind of run away once something threatening appears. And here we go. Starts working on the core call. Decides, nope, I want to get some drone kills instead. Kills one drone. Kills not another drone. Nice. I love that Stefano uh, tried to get those drones into buildings before they died. Um, actually, the first one, you could see the little silhouette of the extractor coming out before it died. So he tried to do it with that one. Didn't quite pull it off, but uh, did start did do it with the second one there. And uh, starting to build some roaches now and building some Zerglings to back it up. Zergling speed finishing up very shortly. These Phoenix is going to get in here, try to do a bit of damage, but with that one Spore Crawler, it, they're not going to be able to accomplish too much. They will be able to pick off some Outlying Roaches, so that will be good. But, uh, yeah, it looks like Stefano wants to put the pressure onto MC, and MC is just a little bit behind because that Stargate opening just didn't work out in the slightest. So, uh, Zergling scoot on forward. That is so many sentries. Wow. And a big pickup and sentries apparently can kill roaches if they are left helplessly floating in the air. But, um, wow, got a bit of a Zergling counterattack, but not enough Zerglings to actually kill any sentries. He does lose one sentry, a little bit careless of MC, but he's killing quite a few roaches without really losing much of anything. So, uh, Stefano trying to put the pressure on, but it just doesn't work out at all. And, uh, MC's just gonna be able to kill roaches as Stefano retreats. But uh, Stefano doesn't mind too much. He's getting an infestation pit. And while that was a nice defense by MC, all Stefano really lost were a handful of attack units. And as long as, economy, as his economy remains strong, he can make attack units all day long. He's going to pick off a, a few more roaches. That's got to be really annoying as a roach. He's like, run, get away from the things we can't shit up at. Oh, man. Uh, Stalker's just kind of doing the dance, darting forward, darting back, picking off lings. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, I, I feel like while Stefano can afford to lose these units, that's not a huge deal. I feel like for the moment, he should just sit back at his base. He's expanding again, that's a really good idea, but he shouldn't be trying to pressure with, you know, speedless roaches and absolutely no anti-air support, because every time he retreats, he just loses so much stuff. And that's really the thing that's letting MC stay relatively even on supply. Uh, Stefano is getting a spy right now and 30 Zerglings, so we'll probably see a handful of Corruptors come out just to deflect those Phoenixes and provide cover for his ground forces. And then all those Zerglings plus Infestors will just be able to kind of crush through MC's army. Uh, MC is starting the, the makings of a wall here. Um, I would love to see him add on maybe a gateway or two here, just to kind of seal that off a little bit more. And that way he doesn't have to burn tons of energy every time Zerglings try to bust into his base. Uh, he is also getting Blink. So we'll be relying on that very good Blink Stalker Micro to try to remain alive. Uh, has a single Void Ray here. Not quite sure why that's hanging out. Uh, Observer scooting on forward and a whole bunch of links coming down. Maybe to do a run by. Maybe just to check on what's up. And they all just kind of hold position there and then continue running. That looked like something out of a very bad stop animation film where they just all kind of freeze for half a second before they start running again. Uh, yeah, anyway, so, a few Zergla uh, what was that, Zergla Flangings? I don't even know. Anyways, a few Zergla, Zerg, 
I can't say it. A few zerglings sacrificed for the swarm. There we go. I had to like very deliberately enunciate every weird word. That was awful. Uh, Fungal catches this void ray. It's gonna die. How very sad. It has 11 kills. Wow. Pick off a lot of zerglings and roaches before it went down. But now that Stefano has that uh, fungal support, MC's gonna be hard pressed to do anything, especially with the spine crawlers here to help out. And here we go. Stefano darts forward, darts back. Uh, multiple guardian shields down. Bro, uh, Phoenix has moved in, starting to pick up some investors. That's pretty awesome. And Stefano doesn't quite have enough anti air to deal with that. And, oh, wow, MC is doing a bit more damage than I thought. Losing some stalkers, but Stefano's lost quite a lot of stuff without really doing anything. And these Phoenixes, um, okay, now they're getting cleaned up by the Corruptors. There are a handful of infested Terrans come out to support. But uh, Stefano needs to pull these infested back. Oh, they're just dying to blink stalkers. Such a difficult thing to watch because it's just, oh no. But here we go. Some Zerglings surging on forward. Blink back, taking out the Zerglings. And I think Stefano needs to pull out from the base. He cannot hold it at this moment in time. More Zerglings coming forward. He's trying to save it, but I don't know if he quite has enough. This is so many Stalkers. They have plus two attack. And the Zerglings only have one one. And Stefano just continues pressing forward. And wow, Stefano just really on the back foot here. I thought he'd be able to deal with this much better. But he just had such an awkward engagement with all his Infestor getting picked up by Phoenixes. And then good force fields trapping in a whole bunch of units, and then MC just having uh, apparently infinite stalkers. Wow. A uh, handful of stalkers darting forward. They blink on back. And that's just so much stuff. A single warp prism arrives up front, so that way you can warp reinforcements directly onto the front lines. No pile on needed. Giant blink back. More blink backs. So much blinking. Stefano's just trying to brute force through this. But I don't know if it's quite going to work out. He's definitely killing off a lot of the Stalkers. And wow, he's even fighting with drones. Oh, man. And yeah, there's just enough Stalkers that they can just eventually kill off all these Roaches. Man, I'm just <laughs> running out of oxygen here. There we go. Stefano with the well-played, well-played in caps. So he's like, well-played, well-played! Exclamation mark. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, I'm quite surprised MC was able to take that game. He, he looked to be in a bit of an awkward position after that very badly failed um, air attack. But, yeah, just getting in a gigantic force and Stefano engaging a bit poorly and not quite able to react in time. And MC takes the game. So thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Uh, I think there's one more. One more game between Stefan and MC, so check it out.